If God is just a mystery to be explored and guessed at, then you can be wrong about him and that's okay. It would kind of be an opinion type thing. Like, what do you think about strawberry ice cream? You like it? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Let's explore the mystery. But if God is what he has said he is, which is God, and if God is knowable as he says he is knowable, as we read in Romans 1, that everything there is to know about him can be known, then here's the deal. You are responsible. You're responsible to be correct about who God is and what you believe about God. No, no, no. When it comes down to it, you are responsible to know that which can easily be known, and God tells us he is right there to be known. People who are more concerned with security and peace and happiness and getting along with others amiably than with honoring the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the consuming fire, the wants real relationship, the one who we're going to be with for eternity. You're going to trade a little pleasure on this side while you ignore God for the God that you're going to be with literally forever? Not a good trade. We've been too preoccupied with our selfish desires to get serious about raising a generation of warriors who's ready to face the world and stop trying to win in the world's way and recognize we've already won, we're more than conquerors in Jesus Christ. And move forward. As C.S. Lewis says in the screw tape letters, the demons are afraid when they really look at the church, strong like an army with banners. Where do you want your investment? Somewhere where moth and rust destroy? Or somewhere where nothing fades away? Jesus Christ, we've given our lives to you. That's what this is about. You want to become part of this family? Part of this local expression of the body of Christ? You better be serious. It's going to get real uncomfortable otherwise. This ain't a country club. This ain't a cruise ship. It's a battleship.